The TTC has had 20 years to make all of its subway stations accessible, yet it won't meet a 2025 deadline set under the law, according to a staff report being discussed at its board meeting Tuesday. This is a very irresponsible failure of leadership at a major government public sector public transit authority. 54 of 70 TTC subway stations are currently accessible. At the end of 2024, that number goes up to 57. The remaining stations, including Spadina and Warden, won't be completed until 2026. Those are stations that we knew that were going to take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Why didn't we start on that earlier? Yes, that's the question, but they weren't funded. But we didn't get funding until 2020. Today we have 15 of the remaining 16 stations under construction. Councillors on the TTC board are also placing the blame squarely on the province's shoulders for failing to meet the goals set out by the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act in 2005. The fact that the TTC is so far behind its goals, uh, state of good repair, accessibility, and so much more, uh, is a testament to the provincial government deciding to pull out from uh, its commitment for operating dollars, the you know the the, the, the lack of funding in general to the TDC. Remember, uh, uh, Rob Ford and Doug Ford gravy train at City Hall. We're not going to pay for anything. We're not going to fix anything. We're not going to build anything. Well, the chickens have come home to roost. Advocates say a two-decade timeline should have been enough to work out the kinks. This deadline wasn't just invented. And when you make 20-year plans. You plan for contingencies. What I'm hearing from staff is that they're doing what they can with what they have. The Office of the Minister of Seniors and Accessibility says the issue is managed by the TTC and notes that the Ministry of Transportation gave Toronto $2.7 billion for transit. Dilshad Berman, City News.